So guys, for the first step, you want to go to search and type in DX Diag. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to find out how much VRAM that your graphics card has. So on the top, it's going to be saying either display or render. You want to go to that tab and you want to find out how much display memory VRAM that your graphics card has. For me, I've got 5966 and it says my graphics card right here. So again, you want to go to either the display tab or the render tab and it's going to tell you. You want to take note of how much VRAM that you have. For the next step, you want to go into your GTA 4 game files. So for me, I'm using GTA 4 on Steam. So I'm going to right click on it. Properties. Installed files. And then browse game files. You want to go into your GTA 4 game files. I'm now going to select the GTA 4 folder. And now this will come up. And now once we're here, you want to right click on the blank space. And then click on new. And then click on text documents. You want to call this command line dot txt and then click on enter. And now once we have this, you want to double click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to copy and paste this. It's going to be down below in the description. Make sure that it starts with the no mem restrict command and then it ends with dash full screen. So make sure that you copy and paste this. It's going to be down below in the description. And you want to change the number here based on your VRAM from earlier. So for me from earlier, it was 5966. So I typed in right here, 5966. In your case, you want to type in your VRAM right here. So just replace this number with your one. And then once you do that, you want to click on File and then click on Save. We can now close out of this. For the next step, we're going to paste some commands into our launch options. I'm going to show you what to do if you're playing GTA 4 on Steam. Later on in the video, I'm going to show you what to do if you're not using the GTA 4 Steam version. If you're using a different version, I'm going to show you what to do. If you're using GTA 4 on Steam, you want to find GTA 4, right click on it and then click on properties. And now in the general tab under launch options, you want to copy and paste these commands. It's going to be down below in the description. And now where it says your VRAM amounts, we can just delete this and then type in that number from earlier. For me, it's going to be 5966. We can now close out of this. You can now launch GTA 4 and then the problem should be fixed. If you're using a different copy of GTA 4, then you want to find the GTA 4 game launcher. Once you find it, you want to right click on it and then click on properties. I know this says Adobe Acrobat, just ignore it. Imagine that this is the GTA 4 game launcher. You want to go to the shortcut tab and now next to target at the very end, you want to put a space and then you want to paste in the commands which will be down below in the description. These ones right here. So again, it should be saying something like this like in the target GTA 4, the complete edition, it might be saying that. And then at the very end, you want to put a space and then just paste in these commands. And where it says your VRAM amount, you just want to delete this and you want to type in the number from earlier. For me, it's going to be 5966 and then click on OK. Again, in my case, because I'm using Adobe Acrobat, it's not working, but then you want to click on OK. And now if we launch GTA 4, we go into graphics, as you can see, the resource usage should now reflect our VRAM. That's how you do it. 